Okay, let's do it. Welcome everyone to another episode of Lior on Board Tutorials with one and only questionable only or however you want to call this bloody channel. In today's episode, which will be very short, I will be talking to you about how you can streamline your channel point redemptions to make them being redeemed one by one. Alright, let's go. For the first demonstration, I will show you how you can redeem, or your viewers can redeem two channel point redemptions very close one to another, and how maybe you don't want that to happen in your streams. First of all, I need to switch to my OBS studio over here, and then you can see that I am going to redeem my Ole Punch and then Ole Smash all together. Actually, let's start with Ole Smash. And then I'm doing Ole Punch as well. Hands and Punch at the same time. Wow! To me, that works. But you might not want to get your redemptions in parallel. Maybe you want one strictly and then the other only after the first one is finished. Well, how do you do that? Well, for that, there is a little trick. Instead of doing separate buttons for your redemption actions, you keep the buttons separate, but you remove the triggers from those buttons. And you create one more master button. And then you put all of those triggers on that button. And the button will decide, depending on the trigger, on the channel point redemption name, which other button to then trigger and execute your proper actions for that redemption. And the magic will happen at the end line of that button, where we will just add a delay, let's say 30 seconds. So that will make the master button run for 30 seconds, even though your redemption will be running and might have already finished. And the second one might be already queued in. But only after 30 seconds will the second redemption, if such is already present, start to execute. And by doing that, we will add a delay and we will streamline instead of parallel redemptions a sequential one by one. Okay? So, without further ado, this is my lure on board stream deck. And these are my two buttons which I just used for redemption. And if I see here, I have a redemption name on a punch. So I'll just add a two so it doesn't match anymore. And all a smash, I will add a two as well. Excellent. Now we need to create a third button, a master button to bind them all. Let's call it bloody master mm. and so on this bloody master I need to add a new trigger and call this point redeem all a punch and a new one point redeem all a smash now in here, I need to go and start adding the command. And first one will be trigger pool. And here in pool value, we need to specify one and the variable name. Redemption name. And so in this redemption name variable, I will either have all a punch if that was redeemed or all a smash if that was redeemed. Now I need to compare and skip if this variable does not equal as a text or as a string my redemption name. Let's start with Ole Punch. And then I need to perform one step from here. And this one step will be trigger button. Now the punch button ID is 59 and the smash button ID is 62. 
So I need the triggered button with ID of 59 over here. And now I need to copy those two actions. Copy and paste them here. And change this to Ola Smash. And change this to 62. And finally, Coup de Grace. The last action which is very important. We need to go here and create a let's say clear variable and we just will clear the redemption name it will not contain a value but we will make sure to only execute this last line after 30 seconds and this will make sure that this button will be executing for 30 seconds one last thing we need to do is go back to the twitch triggers and make sure that we added the add request view over here which will add any of the punch or smash or any more redemptions that i might add here further on to the queue and so regardless of what was redeemed punch or smash or punch punch or smash punch or smash smash punch all of those things will be put in an execution queue and will be executed every 30 seconds. If I press down over here, and now if I go back to my OBS studio and try to redeem the smash first, and then real quickly the punch, we will only see the smash, and then it will finish the animation and only after that, the punch will start executing. Let's go. No punch yet. No. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? There we go! After 30 seconds has passed, the second command just executed. Ha ha ha! Excellent! And this is it, my friends. Thank you so much for sticking around. This was an impromptu recording. And please disregard this Dracula look because it will not happen as often as you wish to. And as always, I'm questionable Ole. I stream on Twitch on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. And I do these Lauren board tutorials and also 3D printing jobs on my secondary channel Ola Prints. Thank you so much. Be seeing you.